hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is love it if you're new here this is a place where we talk about beauty and styling tips for black women and if you're a returning subscriber welcome welcome thank you so much for stopping by as you can tell by the title we are going to talk about casual looks for the flamboyant gaming so the flamboyant gaming is a mixture between yin and yang that's the reason why she's in the gaming category what she leans more yang that means in your answers you had more a's and b's than um e and d's you know so we are going to talk about the type of clothes you're supposed to put on your recommendations so that you are gonna look as good as you want to look so for your silhouette you should pay attention to broken boxy outlines you should pay attention to sharply outlined edges for your fabrics it should be lightweight or moderate with slight crispiness the lighter the fabric the more tailored or clingy it should be now you can also handle very rough and heavy fabric and they can very rough and heavy fabric work really really well for jackets as a flamboyant garment here are a few words to remember animated patterns always pay attention to opposing shapes vibrant color electric patterns and mixing textures prints and colors okay let's get right into your skirt i was talking about boxy you can see this skirt you can see that it stays close to the body even this jean skirt they all have pretty much the same design and always make sure that you are you know paying attention to staccato staccato effect short broken lines just add boxy to it short broken boxy lines you can see the skirt is short it looks a little boxy it stays close to the body it is not wide it doesn't look unconstructed it's more like an a-line type of skirt correct me if i'm wrong but you can see that it stays to the body now you can handle i think you are the gamin who can handle leather skirts just make sure that they are really really short you can also handle um really heavy fab fabrics in your skirt also now if you're not into really really short skirt you can see this is not very short it is knee length and it has that slit pay attention to this type of you know patterns and you can also go for plaid patterns and skirts like this if you're going for a little bit longer pencil skirts just make sure that they hug the contours of your body you know even though they are kneeling, if you're not very comfortable with um, skirts that are, you know, above the knee. Longer, like I said, should hug your body. You can also go with a little bit below the knee, I, I believe. Just make sure that it really, really stays in your, on your body and um, it should have a little bit of pattern and textures in there. But if it doesn't, just make sure that the blouse you're putting on with it, has abundance of patterns and textures and wild colors now on bias skirt skirts also work for you because it stays it stays within the body it is not wide it is not um bogus you know and um yeah just go for things that stays on your body and you can pair them with sneakers now you can you are the gaming who can wear really really chunky sneakers I wanted to add your bias skirt skirt should be narrow now skirts with an even hemline work really really well and you can go for shorter lengths although I believe a mid calf lengths work really really fine for you and if you're going with this type of skirt just make sure that you stick with medium weight fabric of course I believe you can go with um a little lighter with fabrics but to be to be on the safe side go with medium weight fabric or um heavyweight fabric for your skirt with an even hemline it's gonna add you know that yarn that your bones are you know longing for okay so your pants should be boldly mantelled in heavy fabric with deep pleats if you take a look at this photo you can see there's very very deep pleats in there it is boldly mantelled and um i want to add something to it even though it is boldly mantelled with heavyweight fabric just make sure that your pants are cropped 
above your ankle level they shouldn't go below your ankle they should always be above your ankle level because first and foremost you are regaining before anything else another type of pants are spandex spandex work really really well for you because you know they are tight they stay on your body and um yeah you know um as a gamin you don't have to go for anything that is really really wide or a size bigger stick to your size or something even tighter in fact believe me it's not even it, it's not even gonna look tight on you you might be the only one feeling really really conscious about what you're wearing being tight people will not notice and a good way to look really really modest and elegant to it um spank spandex um leggings are wearing asymmetric button down shirts the high lows um the back is longer and the front is shorter and um just a basic white t-shirt just make sure that it is not white if it is big just make sure it is a size bigger and ends at your maybe a little bit below below your hip line and um you can also wear a long button down shirt and throw up um a good sweater on top a shorter sweater to you know play up with your contrast level you can also wear um, a jacket on top of it a jacket that is on your hip line or a little bit below your hip line unbuttoned of course with your shirt just play with your contrast and you are gonna look good you don't have to wear a really long shirt just because you're putting on spanks now this is another type of um, um casual pant that work really really fine for you you can see that it is a little shorter it is above the ankle level even though it is wide you can see it is made of medium to heavyweight fabric tailored and that's fine you can also go for pencil trousers jean trousers or pants whatever as long as they are pencil and they look um really really fitted okay this is what i mean by an asymmetric button down shirt the outfit on the right now another type of um trouser or pants that is recommended for you are ripped pants ripped pants work really fine for you as long as again they are cropped above your ankle they could even be on your knee <laughs> and they are gonna work really really fine for you of course these are a little bit more casual maybe you can wear them at home or when you're running very simple errands now shorts shorts i believe are for flamboyant means this is a little white but if you put it on with a really body hugging top, crop top, it's going to look really, really fantastic. And this is not really, really wide. This is narrow and um, it's really short. And um, as any type of gaming, of course, the idea is that you stick to really, really um, short things, you know so even though some flamboyant garments really have long legs even though you have really long legs it's still gonna work in fact you'll be receiving compliments and people will want to dress like you just because they think they're gonna look as good as you do whenever you put on shorts so if you're flamboyant garment please by all means wear shorts but if you're not into it it's still fine now for your jackets guys so guys for your jacket they have to be short and boxy emphasis on short and boxy and um if they're made of really really um heavyweight fabric it's a plus because they are gonna look really good on you whether you are whether it's in a casual event or a more serious event cropped boxy jacket look really good on you now the cropped jacket are not the only thing that can work for you you can go for longer jacket just make sure it has really um sharp shoulders it is padded at the shoulders and it has waist definition and it does not go below your below your hip even though it goes below your hip it shouldn't appear really long and you can pair this type of jacket with really really short skirts really short dresses and really skinny jeans or spans now another one is a bomber jacket you can see this is a sequin bomber jacket and i believe it works really well because the sequin is gonna complement your um otherwise yin bone structure because you do have some yin in you you are not all young and um bomber jacket work well even though they are not in sequin material of course now still on your shirt boxing 
short and boxy as still the thing just make sure that they are narrow they are sculpted and the necklines are really clean and geometric high high neckline guys you can see how this button down shirt looks boxy and it is buttoned all the way up to the neck now for contrast just make to create contrast because contrast is very important for gamins you can have a different colored um color from your the rest of the the shirt of course it's going to create a lot of contrast and you can see that it looks it also looks really boxy now this is not boxy but it is streamlined it is on her body you know it's tucked in and um you can see this is a very wonderful gaming outfit different colors um pistachio blue white and the brown belt works really well for a gaming always always play with colors like i said colors prints textures vibrant color electric patterns opposite shapes you know you can see this it still plays up with a little bit of contrast if you are you know you know very conservative you know you can play with contrast a little bit if you're not comfortable with playing too much with colors you can see the button area has a different color and i believe it works fine this is also a boxy top blouse thingy whatever you call it you can see that it more like it's made of leather you can see it's on her body you can see the structure it is very very sculpted and um boxy guys boxy whenever you are trying to shop for a top make sure that you are paying attention to high neckline that it is boxy that um um what else what else what else no way definition i don't think it's that important for you guys it is boxy it is cropped um it has a lot of colors and play with textures and patterns let's say you are wearing a pant that's made of really lightweight fabric just make sure that your top is made of really heavy white fabric and the colors are electric like this crop top you can see it has a bust of colors in there and it works um fantastic for a flamboyant game and you can see it also looks boxy even though um it is narrow on her body now total neck tops work for all gamers guys if you're a gaming if you've taken the test and you find out that you are a gaming by all means fall in love with turtlenecks because they have the high neckline they are fitted at the curves you know and they stay on your body most turtlenecks are not um really really wide you know especially if you go for your size and yeah it's it's really really fantastic for any gaming out there now your necklines go for really geometric necklines square necklines are really really awesome for gamins and any young body type like dramatics um dramatic classics um flamboyant gamins and um yeah flamboyant gamins pay attention to going for square necklines and um another type of neckline to pay attention because they are geometric another neckline is um very deep v's you can see this is really really deep the v is really deep that is because um it plays up with your otherwise young undercurrent deep v's um square necklines asymmetrical necklines also work fine for flamboyant gamins if you love asymmetric hemlines um necklines i mean and hemlines too okay but we're talking about necklines right here right now if you find a top with an asymmetric neckline go for it if it's tapered at the sleeves even though it's not tapered at the sleeves as long as it is narrow you know it is not really wide and has a lot of space by all means go for it and it is cropped or boxy or short now for your peplums you are gaming so peplums are gonna look really really fine on you just make sure that it has really sharp waist definition and the peplum top is short and the neckline is high or you know um geometric like square or deep v's it wasn't down um 
peplum shirt like this works fine even though this is it looks like more like for a more serious event but if you get something like that i believe you can make it look casual so for your sweaters they should be sculpted they should be skinny ribbed especially skinny ribbed and made of heavy or bulky fabrics they should always be rib knit and they should look really really heavy and bulky visually so that they for the most part you you should always go for um sweaters and jackets in heavy and bulky with fabrics but if they're not boxy they should just have that really narrow effect and they should be short the sleeves of your sweaters should always taper in. The necklines should always be high up to respect your um, gaming bone structure. Another thing is to pay attention to geometric or irregular shapes. Just like the sweater, you can see that diamond shape um, triangle pattern going on in there. Now, if you find any sweater in very electric patterns, um, colors like yellow, one blue, red, or combined in one, then go for it. For your dresses, um drop with dresses guys really work for you as a gaming just that for drop with dresses just make sure that um your the fabric of the dress holds its shape that um it is maybe from medium weight fabric to heavy weight fabric and your drop with dresses don't have should not have any flounce of any type if they have flounce um i i don't believe you're gonna look that great on you another type of blouse is um blouse on kind of dresses these blouse on dresses that have this drop waist effects with blouse on drop waist they look really fine for you blouse on styles with drop waist are really fine and you can pair them casually you can just dress like this and put on a pair of sneakers or flats and voila you're out the door okay styles that are narrow styles that are narrow 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 are for all gamers you can see these dresses they have animated patterns and the styles are narrow they don't even have waist definition you are not the girl that should um, be bothered about waist definition you are gonna look really good with no waist style 1960s inspired um dresses um work really fine for you these are 1960 inspired dresses you can see they are short um below the knee and um they are narrow they look a little geometric and swing styles also work for you this is a swing style it works really well narrow a-line dresses also work for you as a sub game and just make sure that they are not long and that they are short maybe um below the knee or on the knee if you are not comfortable with really short dresses this is a narrow a-line dress and it works just fine for any sub gaming even though it is a short dress as long as um the a-line is narrow and stays on your body it's gonna work really fine for you as a sub gaming yeah like i said earlier narrow a-line um dresses swing dresses 1960s inspired dresses if you google um these things i'm talking about you're gonna see a lot of styles so that when you're shopping you already have um the styles that you know would work for you in mind and you don't have to go shopping and be thinking um what am i supposed to wear is this gonna look good or not look good now short asymmetric dresses you can see that um the, the back of the dress the hemline is a little longer than the front and the dress has this really deep v thingy going on and it has a bust of colors another dress that works really well if you're an african if you're a nigerian no we all love africans of course boxy boxy dresses short boxy dresses this is a dashiki dress they are all over etsy you can check them out there this is a boxy dress and it works really fine if you're also no flamboyant gaming of course <laughs> it works really really fine you can see it has this um animated pattern the patterns are really electric and it works really fine this is a rib knit dress sweater dress 
and you can see just it looks visually heavy and um, because of the visual heaviness it's gonna work really fine for you as a flamboyant game if you watch my soft gaming video um this sweater was there but i made mention if you're going for something like this make sure that it is made of a lightweight fabric now these are the kind of patterns you should look out for geometric sculpted looking shapes like these um triangles diamonds squares um what else what else am i missing anything that just any type of shape that looks really angular i believe you can also go for circles but for circles just make sure that um the patterns have a little bit more electric colors to them like this right here you can see pink blue um <laughs> the post of colors okay play with patterns like this and um you're gonna be good to go girl so for your shoes guys i did not include them here but i'm gonna add them chunky um sneakers flat ballet wedges work really fine for you simple sandals work really fine for you so that is all for today's video flamboyant gaming thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please do give me a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye bye